The main question everybody's asking is that the rain have something to do with this and they're definitely looking into that because people who've lived here for over 20 years are saying they've never seen that much rain in that short a period of time but at the same time all of these units here run out of septic not septic tanks actually cesspools which are big holes on the ground and the question is when were they last inspected the family for Imelda Quintero that's the name of our victim says they had no idea there was one under their porch and that's what it seems she fell into take a look you can actually see where the fire department is working to get to rescue that woman now, a woman who neighbors heard calling from a deep hole at a mobile home park in Fontana she was screaming and we could barely hear her like when we were close to the hole terrified her family and neighbors call 911 Turns out we have a 40-year-old adult female resident of the trailer park that came walking out of her residence when the ground beneath her collapsed. She has fallen into an old cesspool. She's about 25 feet down. In shock, says her husband, anxiously waiting with others as rescuers work on getting her out. We're worried about the sides of that pit sloughing in. So we're taking our time with that. We're going to be inserting a rescuer, placing that victim in a harness, and recovering her from that 25-foot hole. Being lifted up from the hole. She was just in fear. She was crying. Everyone was saying, oh, she's OK, she's OK. She didn't look OK. She was pale as a ghost. She was, that's not her normal color. But she is awake and talking to paramedics. And residents have a moment to begin to wonder about the cesspit she fell in. <laughs> We've been here 20 years without anything happening, says her husband and others. She used to throw parties there. We used to be all the time. We used to play cards there, you know, drink, you know, as family, you know, just everyone gathering there, and it never seemed so unsafe. These cess cesspits are no longer in use here in this park. I don't know how many exist. And they're saying they might close down the mobile homes to see um, if everything is safe. Right now, they're securing that area, and then they're going to move along, but we don't know what's going to happen right now. Well, I can tell you nobody has been moved out of their homes. They haven't. I haven't seen the city checking anything. They don't believe this is an immediate situation as far as checking these uh, septic uh, or cesspools. Um, I can tell you that uh, Imelda is not back from the hospital. We are told that she does not have major injuries, no broken bones. But they're going to have to probably keep her because they're going to have to pump her up with antibiotics to deter the possibility of an infection considering what it is that she fell into. We will keep you updated. I'm Christina Gonzalez, live in Fontana, and back to you in the studio.